So this is going to give us a devotion point. So we can hit it. It's going to ask for a crystal. Go ahead and look at it. Just see if you see it. Yeah. Okay. And then so that's. Do you offer it, or how does that work? Yeah, I've got uh, two crystals. How many do you have on you? Uh, two. Um. Go ahead. You could see what it looks like then. We both have the same. Oh. And that gives us a devotion point. So if you hit your skills screen. And then the top middle, you see devotion. Oh, okay. And it's where you want to put that entire devotion tree. And you can reset these. Okay. Um, there's nothing preventing you from resetting them. I don't know what my build actually needs to look like. I guess I'll throw an offense. I can reset it later. Um, Let's see what Oh, those are... Yeah, I'd have to look at this uh, build. You have to start in that. You have to start in that center diamond shape. Okay. And then uh, basically, there you get. So there's the colors that are on the right hand side when you go in the devotion tree. Mm -hmm. There's the purple, red, green, uh, yellow, and blue. Yeah. And things are going to require you to have certain colors. It's the ascendant, chaos. I can't quite highlight over uh, Eldritch, Order, and Primordial. And if you highlight over them, it shows what gives you and what... I think it's what gives you it. Okay. Yeah, what gives you it if you highlight over it. And there's going to be things that require it. You can see, like, requires a... If you go to the imp, which is just to the left of the circle, it's going to say requires one affinity. So as you put points into things, it's going to open up your access to the other things. Okay. So it's kind of a it's a folding system. Interesting. And that. when you reset it, you don't reset it the whole thing. You reset it as individual points. Okay. So you you can put points in things to get access to other things, and then pull points out of things that gave you access and go put them in lighter points. <laughs> oh, that's cool. So it allows for you to um, like if you need three and three or something, then you put that in, and then you. You can use the fact that you got three and three to pull out of the piece behind to pull to push forward further. Okay. All right. Um, let's go ahead and turn this in. I think there's another quest we're gonna need. Uh, we don't have to. Run here, one second. Come back here. See this portal. Click on that and go back to Devil's Crossing. All right. Easy enough. Yep. It's got quick travel like this all over the place. And go ahead and turn it into captain. Slowed and a creature was doing this? I need some time to plan our strategy. In the mean... All right. Why can't I move? I can't move for some reason. It's weird. Um, <laughs> there it goes. That was weird. I kind of got locked in place. And he wants you to kill the three guys. And I think over... Over here as well. This guy. The captain send you over. Search the room. There's one more up here. Yeah, inside it's the doctor guy. Or Welcome scientist, I guess. Whatever. Rift gates. You don't remember. You'll be looking. Okay, come back out here. Or, well, we can, oh, yeah, we can use this actually. One more guy over here too. Oh, this will. See, open up the door. Oh yeah, we, he opens up the door for us. And then here's a vendor guy. Yeah, it's, uh, it's got the ARPG um, stare at stat screens for a while aspect of things. Is it better just to sell everything? Or is there like some kind of like salvaging thing? Uh, sell everything. There's no salvaging. Okay. There are components that you get in your inventory. They're going to be called um, like chip claw or uh, cracked lodestone. Those add things to the armor that you're wearing. This seems... This seems like a broken weapon. Six to forty-five damage. <laughs> One-hander. Uh, what is it? It's like a club. Like the 
axe I had was 10 to 26. This is 6 to 45. So I think stats in this game are way more important than the base stat of the damage. So if you look at that weapon and you highlight over it, it's going to tell you what the damage increase is DPS when you equip it. Oh, okay, I see. And then also if you look on the top right, under combat stats, there's a DPS meter there. See, it says offensive, defensive, DPS, armor rating. Oh, okay. So th when you put something on, you can see what it affects that. But really the thing that you want to look at is in the second screen. At the top, there's uh, like Roman numeral 1, Roman, over Roman numeral 2. Yeah. See where it says weapon attack, or it's going to say like your abilities down through there. Mm -hmm. When you equip stuff, it's going to tell you how that affects your abilities. Okay. That's awesome. That's the thing I pay attention to more than anything about else when it comes to this. Uh, these emeralds for okay, sockets. All right. Put it to good use. Come see what's left. What do you want? Yeah, there's gonna be. I've got this open up already. What do you want? And then there's a uh, bank at the top of the stairs. Oh, okay. Perfectly safe illusions. For a price. Okay. Is the bank like account wide? You, you can. There's uh, two different parts of the bank. There's an account wide and a uh, per character. Do I need these uh, Harbor nice. Master notes or something we picked up? It says already you... known. Uh, no, toss them then. All right. Perfect. You definitely want to get a build, especially with the first time running. Uh, you can't do the table until you get enough rep. Um, the first time running, you're going to want to get a build set up. Oh, up here. got to talk to the witch. Greetings, child. I am pleased to see that the She's the one that can reset your points. My knowledge of okay. spirits. I'm afraid that I am troubled memories. Can My knowledge of spirits has allowed me to devise a... So coming back to her, you can take points out and in. Oh. All right. Got to find her parents or something. Uh, for the lady back there? Oh, those kids were looking for their parents, I guess. Oh, uh, that's... They, I don't... I don't remember if we do a quest for that or if that's just a kind of side story thing. Uh -huh. I think we end up killing him. Or we find him dead, something like that. All right, so we can now take this portal back to where we were. So if you pop that portal, you see where it says blended and then it says burial hill. Yeah, there we go. And that portal stays as long as we're logged in. Oh, that's pretty sweet. So it can actually be quick transports too between, uh, like if we want to like go do something and be able to exit the dungeon quickly, you could throw a port at the front of the dungeon. And then uh, once you're done, just kind of have the other person throw a port down and then port back to it. So we can port between our own as well. Yeah, so that's the first scrap bus that we got. Because Barnabas wants to scrap. Right. Man, 
I need to have a feeling to get a better build on this. Oh, breaking that just kills them. Uh, some of them. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. It kind of depends on uh, whether they spawn from it or if they're around it. Oh. That comes there. Okay, that's back to the portal. And go left. Let's see, is this left up here? No, no, that's where we came from. Can we go? Go up into the right up here. I wish you could zoom the mini map out a little bit. It's a little bit tight. What's the mini map? The mini map? Oh. I mean the top right mini map. I'm try to see if the mouse will zoom it out. Nah, it doesn't. The mouse doesn't zoom out. There's a chest back there. For um, okay, more scrap, water pump, um, ethereal crystals. I've got four of those. Yeah, I need one more. Let's see, is this the entrance, or is this another entrance? I think that's the same entrance. Did we go in this one? Yeah, we did. We didn't we? Pretty sure we did. Five of five scrap. Cool. I need one more of those too. Yeah. Oh, I guess. Oh, here's one of those new things. Oh, can we not access it yet? I don't see anything. Um, oh, you don't see a thing sitting right here? No. That's weird. Okay, I see it. It's a, um, one of the, they just had patch 116 come out. Mm -hmm. And it added these new things in. I can see it for some reason you can't. Interesting. Uh, What's it do? It's, uh, like a little boss fight sort of thing. Oh. And it drops gear. Look for, on your minimap, they're gonna, they're gonna look like big, uh, I want to say statues, but that's not going to really describe them well. Look like demonic statue things on your middle map. Or on your, uh, if you look in your map, I can't see it on my map. It's going to look like a, uh, like, prongy statue thing. You might not have any seen right now, a though. A shrine? Uh, yeah. Alright. I don't see any icons on my map. We're leveling a lot faster than I remember leveling. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, second points. Eight, I would say. Seven or eight. Um, Just got seven. Oh, yeah, seven. It's down in the middle between the health and the. Uh, it's not called mana, but the mana bar, whatever that's called. Uh oh, let's jump in here. Where can I enter? There we go. What level are they? Three hundred eighteen. They're level eight. Um, eh, we're right about our level. 
There's a chest back here. A dude. Set him free. Did he ask you for a port back or something like that? Uh, he might have. I, I said I killed the bandit. Oh, we haven't done that yet, but fair enough. <laughs> Whatever gave us credit for it. So much stuff coming out of that. Yeah, that's a lot of, a lot of loot. Um, you're doing sword and shield, right? Sword and board. Uh, I believe that's sort of one-handed board. I don't know if it matters if it's a sword or. or... Yeah, but one hand. You're, you're doing shield, right? Here's a gun. Okay. If you need it. Uh, find out. Oh yeah, that's much better. Thank you. Where do you put amulets at? Uh, bottom right. Bottom. Just next to the feet. Oh. oh, there we go. What is that? Salt bag? There we go. I don't know if it's a salt bag. That thing. You just drop it? Yeah, I didn't need it anymore. Oh, it must have auto picked up. Do you use energy? Uh, everybody does. That's your green bar. Oh, this might be useful if you don't if you need it. Oh yeah, it got auto equipped to me. Uh, energy regeneration, health regeneration. Uh, yeah, sure, that's good. Yeah, we're going back out now. Yeah, we did what we need to there. So I think the thing we've learned about this game, like playing like 50 hours now with what we've done is like everything, every place has like quests. Mm -hmm. So exploration is just Part of doing everything. Right. It's like everything's useful too. It's nice in this game. Uh, up this way. Are these maps random or are they? Uh... No, it's static. The world looks just like this. Multiple playthroughs will look exactly the same. There's actually like patterns for like how to speed run this stuff. Yeah, that's when I was looking for build guys. Yeah. Speed run. Oh, that guy's on fire at me. Can't really turn. Him. <laughs> nah, it's fine. I don't know. There's no like. I guess there's no taunt. Yeah, there's soldiers have taunt. Oh. You get it later on. It's like an AOE taunt sort of thing. Oh. Oh, you have, uh, you're doing Oathkeeper and, um, Nightblade or something like that, right? Yeah. The Dervish? 